Yes, the DVD version, which was published by Ubisoft, who managed to not ruin games when they're just publishing them. Yay! Hi, Atrus. Thank God you returned. I need your help. There's a great deal of history that you should know. But I'm afraid that... I must continue my writing. Here. Most of what you'll need to know is in there. Keep it well hidden. For reasons you'll discover, I can't send you to Riven with a way out. But I can give you this. It appears to be a linking book, back here to Dunny. But it's actually a one-man prison. You'll need it, I'm afraid, to capture Gan. Once you've found Catherine, signal me, and I'll come with a linking book to bring us back. That is a big book. It is. There's also a chance, if this all goes well, that I might be able to get you back to the place that you came from. Earth? Earth. It's called Earth. Yeah. Well, remember, Atrus isn't human. Well, he's human, but he's not from Earth. Riven. Ride checkmark EN. Got it. Hi everybody, welcome back to Disappointing Place. Oh, we're in prison. Where we belong. Uh, slightly different crew this time. Uh, I'm back, this is Robert. I'm Josh. I'm Dan, also known as the Krampus. Indeed. And uh, we're back in the world of Mist. Well, the world of Riven. Being saved by a Rasta Mad Max extra. I think maybe he's the one who locked us in here. Yeah, come closer. I won't hit you. Yeah. I think he's speaking that weird language that they were in the... Um, Cirrus's, like, recordings. He, he, he is speaking the language that technically we will learn parts of through this game. Sweet. We sit up. Ah, not there, man. Bad touch. Need an adult. Okay, then. Yes, he... He has taken our one-man prison linking book. Yep. And been... shot in the neck. Accurate. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, those of you who have made it all the way through our playthrough of Mist may notice something. There's actually people in this game. Yep. And we've gone forward in time, but backwards in graphics. And technology. Indeed. Yeah, Riven received a more pure uh, update for its DVD version. And really nothing beyond that. Yeah, they they basically just made it no longer be on, like, five CDs, and instead it's just on a DVD. Thanks. Okay, well, bye then, I guess. <laughs> Why did he let us out? I don't know. We'll find out. I'm, I'm confused. I am a man. I am a man confused. All right, so, uh, so yeah, this is, uh, this is Riven. Yeah. Uh, this is the version from Good Old Games, which is a adaptation of the DVD version as being run through Scum VM. So there are a few oddities in place because of that. 
Uh, and those of you that watched our missed playthrough will notice that uh, moving from place to place is just kind of an abrupt jump. Because uh, in the original Mist, and therefore in the original Riven Engine, uh, you didn't really have those transitions like Real Mist yeah. did. So, uh, I'll interrupt real quick just for what we were seeing there. Take note of that symbol that the dagger is carved into. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is an important symbol. And another important thing you may notice that's different from Mist is we do actually sort of have an inventory. Uh, yes, not a whole lot actually ends up in there, but... Yeah. We've learned how to use a satchel. Yeah. We received this journal. I'm just going to click through all the pages. If you are interested in seeing what it has to say, you can pause the video and read. Now, we will eventually be returning to this journal. Oh, I'm Yeah, sure. it does have solutions for stuff. Uh, the nice thing about it, though, is we will have it with us so we can just consult it when we need it. Yeah. Uh, so to give a very, very brief overview of what is going on in this book, uh, basically, uh, Atris made a world known as Riven, and... His mentor, Gen, G-H-E-N, or G-E-H-N, I forget which, um, was in Riven with him. Gen has done some shady stuff, and so the world of Riven has been sealed away, and all the linking books out of Riven have been closed. That's why Atris said in the opening he can't give us a linking book back to Mist, because he doesn't want it accidentally getting into people's hands. Mm. Alright then. Uh, if you look to the right, actually... Ooh. Very pretty island. Yes, it's a very pretty island. Trains. Or something about uh, like trains. Power lines, I think. Uh, no, those are the tram lines. Oh, that's right, there's the tram line. Oh, hey, there's that symbol again. Yeah. Yep. I can't. There we go. All, All right. right, so let us begin wandering around this island. This exists. Uh, let's brute force it. How cool would it have been if that had opened? It didn't, though. All right, uh, so this is like a telescope? Yeah, sort of thing. Microscope-ish. Yeah. Sure. We'll be able to use it later. Oh. Hey, we can hop fences. Yes. Ah. Can't hop that. No. All right. Back this way. Yeah, Atrus can't write up a new pair of legs after we shatter ours falling. Abrupt scene changes. I mean, he could. He just won't. He's kind of a dick. Okay. Scary. Welcome to the Egypt exhibit. Oh. Okay. Do we ever learn how to read this? You can if you really want to. Right. It's not actually necessary to beat the game, but I can't say that I didn't have a friend that did that back in the day. Nice. Okay. Doors and such. And there was this button. Oh. You can tell it's a transition to video because the light changes. Yep. 3D rendered video. Yeah, so one of the notable things about the sort of weird technology that goes on in this game, pretty much all the video files in this game are actually in QuickTime, of all things, which makes it really awkward to run on modern computers. Okay, now we can spy on that room. We found a cave with a door. If people remember the first episode of Mist, where we just wandered aimlessly around the island and didn't have any clue what we were doing, that's going to be this whole game. Yeah, it's one island. Well, one. I mean, there, 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 are, there are multiple islands. Yeah. In this. It's just, uh, it's all kind of interconnected, and yeah, yeah. A good way to think of it is, it is like a single age from the original Mist, just built up to an entire game. So now we are radio broadcasters. Quick, we've got a large audience. Say a okay. slur. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. I don't think we can do anything here yet. 
push not appearing that way, at least. Yeah, the button just raises and lowers the cage. There is a, like, a looks like a lever next to the one on the left there. Ah, yes. Aziz, light! Uh, huh. That opened a door somewhere. We're so smart. Okay. Ah, the tranquil sounds of a thing closing behind us. Yes, a thing, which certainly doesn't look like a creepy brass spider that you willingly climb into. So we were going this way? Yeah, down the cave. To another door. Ah, yes. Doors on doors on doors on doors. What's in here? Oh, hey, this is the room we just opened a door in, I think. Uh, yeah, I yes. Yes. It does believe, yeah. Hey. Yeah, that is totally the door we just opened. Actual progress. Awesome. We solved a puzzle without even knowing it. How about that? Yeah, there you go. We're better at this. Because that qualifies as a puzzle. Okay. I cannot take any of the fruit offerings to the walrus god. Yeah. Wal walrus god? I don't know. I'm seeing more of like a beakless parakeet with tentacles. Yeah, like leaning down like it's going to peck at the fruit. Yeah. Like the beak would be here. If it had one. Yeah. I'm seeing more like a whale kind of thing. What do you see, audience? Cow <laughs> with a pokeball nose piercing? <laughs> it's a manatee. A sea cow. <laughs> Roseanne Barr. Oh, hey, there's another one. That's identical. Uh, I don't know. The the eye gem thing looks a little different. Yeah, this one looks like it has an actual like pupil in the eye, versus the other one that just had like gem. It has a bunch of different garbage. The other one had a pupil. Oh no, yeah, there. Oh we no, go. it does. Okay, yeah. It's the same pile of fruit, just on the other, the other side. side. Yeah. Wow, they are really devoted to symmetry around here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now we step up on that platform and let that bumper launch us across the world. Oh, this is like Sonic. Yeah. yeah. Except, you know, good. Here comes a train. Going on a train ball. This ride, I believe, is called um, Batman the Ride at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Oh, wait, no. I thought this was a dangle uh, situation. Nope. Nope. It is a little car. In. Uh, yes. Yeah. Right. that, it will spin us. Because you can't travel backwards. No. Always forward, never stopping. <laughs> okay. Away! Like, honestly, if I was Atrus and I had access to Riven, I would just ride the trams all day. They look fun as heck. <laughs> Whee! Not a big fan of the shuttering. Also, if one of these things ever gets out of alignment... Oh, damn. yeah. <laughs> Just straight down. Yeah, the shuttering doesn't bother me so much as the creaking and cracking as you ride this thing. Yeah. yeah At it's... remarkably high speed, for that matter. It's also not, not great. Okay. There we are. Oh. I want to get off Mr. Gen's wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stairs or button? Well, obviously, we have to push the button. Okay. Pay attention to that symbol. That okay. symbol means this, the thing. This is a game you might want to have a pencil and paper ready for when we yeah, actually start. Yeah, we have a production assistant. Yeah, okay. Indeed. That said, key though. K I. Yep. Somewhere with an I. I need to remember. The KI symbol. Button. Go further down that path, if you can. Uh, so I can go either this way or this way. No, I mean like where the where the button was. Huh. Like that we were looking down the thing. Yeah, this is Okay, that's just back to where Yeah, it did. That looks like the tr the summon tram button. Yeah, that's 
I think okay, that's yeah, the that is summon the tram yeah. for this island. It's just in a weird It's just spot. way off from where the tram actually arrives. Because he wants to arrive by the time he walks down the stairs. I think it's to save them the animation of the tram. Probably. Probably. Okay, so uh, up or down? Uh, up. I've right. unilaterally made a decision. Alright, this looks familiar. There's going to be a puzzle with pipes. <laughs> ah, a weapon. Not that kind of game. Dang it. Fortunately, we cannot take the axe. Minecart level! Woohoo! I love Minecraft. This is the best part of Donkey Kong Country. Get ready to jump and hit the things. Get ready to jump and avoid bees. Bees! Ah, sadly, I have not keyed up my B's button yet. Uh, those look like heating elements. Nah. Are we being flash roasted? Nah, nope. just power rings. The he okay, now we're underwater. It's the channel. This, oh man. Uh, epilepsy warning. Yeah, seriously. Epilepsy warning, motion sickness warning. Good taste warning. Not for the game, that's for us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you I have good I... taste, why the hell are you subscribed to us? Eh, fair point. Okay, and into another cave. Indeed. It is dark now. Ah, yes. The light at the end of the tunnel. And an incredibly sharp turn on rails. That's never a bad thing. Funk. Who gave this man an engineering degree? Okay. Wrong lever! <laughs> Pull the lever, Kronk. Okay. Uh, Alright. That deposited us in Arizona. <laughs> Pretty sure I played this map in Counter Strike. Uh, actually, go back up a second. Oh. Back up a ladder a second. Uh, turn around. Back towards the thick. Oh, I really hope that's not on the next time someone rides that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a rock tumbler and a leg breaker. Yeah. Multi-purpose machinery. Okay. Sorry. Can I turn it on? Uh, nope. It doesn't look like it at present. No. All right. There was a lever back up uh, on next top to where of it, landed, but ah, this whole place is a boiler and cannot be opened. I'm guessing that thing by the door is like a thermometer of some sort, which shows it's way too hot to be open presently. Yeah. Fucking called it. <laughs> Pipe puzzle. Yep, yeah, let's, uh... Let's... Ah, water ah. levels. This does nothing. Uh, not at present, no. Turn the, uh... Yeah, fiddle with other things. Okay. See if we can change that water level. Oh, I turned the fire off. Excellent. So that's, this room is no longer boiling, now we just have to drain it. Maybe. Okay. That seems unsafe. Uh, turn back to the other valve there. Turn valve. All right, so I changed the direction of water flow. This yeah, is all seeming very familiar. Yeah, because presumably that thing down there at the end of that pier is like a pump station of some sort. Mm hmm. Okay. So, water can go in one of four directions. Possibly only three? I don't know if it'll do all four. One of those is presumably an intake. Don't ruin my fun. Okay. Yeah, no, it'll only be those three up top, so not the one on the bottom. That way, which is to the building. Okay. 
Let's turn this back that way, which should pump water into the building. Maybe. That restarts the fire underneath. And do the lever on the side there. The actual switch. Yep. I don't have the mouse back yet. Yeah, I know. Just see what happens once it's bubbling. Nothing. Nothing. It's bubbling and I do this. Oh god, boiling hot water everywhere. Aha. Success. Somehow. We'll go with it. Yeah. I have no idea what we just did, but we'll go with it. Uh, it looks right, like we, we drained the water out of the boiler. So. Okay, so now we need to turn the fire off? Yes. Presumably. Unless we want to go in a real hot steel room. Okay, fire off. Lever up. Hey, there we go. Look at us, puzzle solving machines. Yep. I mean, I have no idea why we're doing this, but... Oh, uh, yeah. No. In, a, in a mist game, you're kind of solving the puzzles to solve puzzles until you get an idea of where you need to go. Uh, I have to go around, I uh, think. Down. The ladder's on the other yeah. side of things. Yeah, I can't. It gives you a down cursor when you're on that. Does it? Aha! Uh -huh. no, yeah. Okay. Maybe the... Hmm. I have more questions than I have answers. Welcome to Mist. Is yep. that even a ladder situation? It looks like a ladder. I don't know. We'll come okay. back to it. Yep. Go, uh, go point that pump valve somewhere else. Point it, like, towards that rock tumbler. See what that does. Sure. Rock tumbler. It's like regular tumbler, but for rock type Pokemon. Up the ladder. Okay. All right, now step in it. End our suffering. Then. I'm just gonna pull the lever again because it makes me. We've solved your tumbler puzzle. And apparently summoned a disappointed whale. <laughs> uh, has anything cool. changed on ground level with the uh, tumbler? Uh, let's see here. Nope. I don't think that's... I think it's mulching. Yeah. Yeah, it's doing mulch. something. Because remember, this came from the woods. And there yeah. was an axe there, so... So that's the intake. That What's goes that? up over the mountains. Uh, that is a ladder up to somewhere. I think maybe we can walk around the boiler building. There we go. My god, we can climb over a pipe. It's a vast improvement over mist. Oh! Oh, that's the, uh... We're on the first island. Yeah. We can't open that yet. Still, kudos to this game for providing shortcuts and such. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, check one more thing, actually. Yes. Uh, back at the controls for the boiler. Okay. Uh, leave that wh where it is. Around. Uh, hit that lever. This one? Yeah. And now go back in and see if anything's changed inside the boiler. It was a very long time for the door to unscrew. Okay, and in. No. Mm. Okay, never mind. Uh, the only other thing I could think is possibly go back to the controls real quick and do the uh, the wheel to change the spout situation. See if that changes anything inside. 
Okay. Yeah, now go back in and see. And yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything's changing in here. Definitely more to this than previously imagined. Where does that go? Also, we don't currently have the water Somewhere. running here. Let's see if we can sort of spot it here. Looks like it may be on the far side of the thing. Okay, well, let's turn that to, back to that area. Okay, so that pipe... ...is this. Right? Possibly. Orientation's a little hard to figure out, really. Pipe. Hit the thing and it either goes mm. straight or down. Yeah, it looks like it goes down underneath into some sort of chamber under there. Now that we've fiddled with stuff, let's see if we can still go inside. We can. That's a good sign. In. All still the same. Yep. Uh, go back to the... The pump. The center control? Yeah, here? the central control. And put it all the way to the the far end. There one. And now let's go back to the that hatch. Because so that one runs over here somewhere. Yeah, I think it's this. Yeah, it is. I'm just wondering because that runs up top. Okay, now that does, still doesn't unlock that. Huh. The boiler is the key to this. The boiler is the key to this. Mm -hmm. Okay. The off-screen production assistant. Technically, we're all off-screen. The off-mic production assistant. Has informed us that the boiler is the key. Okay, uh, let's see if we can fill the boiler back up. Switch that one back over. There's no water in there currently. You need to switch the that one. And then I think we need to uh, do the center valve again because we still got it pointing off. All right. Yes. We actually don't want water in the boiler for you. We do not want water in the boiler. Hmm. The boiler is now too hot. So if we don't want water in the boiler, we should do turn that this. off. And yeah, turn off the heat. What does this do? If this is open and the heat is on, with nothing in there, what happens? You can't go boiler heat on. Okay. Yeah, when while the boiler's on or the heat is on, then the door will not open. The heat is on. It's okay. on the street. Let in. Give. Into boiler. Is there a button somewhere that I'm not seeing? I feel like we should be able to climb down. Hmm. This is my frantic clicking. <laughs> Let 
Let me in. Let me climb down. See, I think there's another step because the the places where the floor in there connects to the wall, there's channels that go up and down. So I get the feeling like the floor is supposed to raise up. Like we're supposed mm. to put some water in there with no boiling? Well, no, because production assistant said we're not supposed to have... We want no water. We want no fire. Do we have power going to this place right now? We don't currently have the water running here. Okay. But let's go... Change put, that. Let's go turn the water towards this place, but have it into that lower channel, because maybe that will raise the floor. Did not raise the floor so far. Oh. Oh. That did something. That... Yeah, it sounded like it did something. There we yeah, go. Yeah, there we go. We have raised the floor. Spirited button pressing. Okay. Fiddle with things enough time, you eventually will find the solution. Take that lesson for life, kids. Yep. Keep slamming your face against something, you're bound to off something eventually. Keep fiddling with it, and eventually it will rise up. Yeah, it's like that grand experiment where a hundred monkeys playing a hundred versions of Riven will eventually solve a puzzle. All there right. are only three of us. So, now that we have finally... We're beating the curve. ...gotten into the boiler, we're going to leave it on a cliffhanger. That's where we're going to call it for Riven Episode 1. Join us next time when we climb down this suspicious ladder. In the meantime, I have been Robert. I've been Dan. And I'm getting a headache. <laughs> All right. In true disappointing click fashion, we have one person who refuses to identify himself. That Two. was Josh. Vince is also here. We'll see you next time. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.